Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, doing five day forecast, today's first video, having a detailed look at when it's five days across the British Isles, as always on a Wednesday. Um, this afternoon, we'll have a look at the uh, weather next week to 10 days, we'll probably include the Beijing Crime Centre for the next 40 days in that as well. And then this evening, we'll round it all off by having our third update for the uh, late summer bank holiday weekend. So three updates to uh, get on with uh, today. Uh, just say about Friday forecast, websites we're using for the Friday forecast coming from the weatheroutlook.com and weathercentral.d. And you can find the link to both of those websites on the links page. It's going to be quite a changeable five days coming up. And you've probably heard already, we are going to be impacted um, by the remains of a hurricane, Hurricane Gert, uh, as we get through to the end of the weekend and the start of next week. I've talked for everything that's going on uh, right now. So this is the current radar picture from the weather outlook. Bit of north-south split, so Scotland and Northern Ireland has uh, outbreaks of showery, but quite heavy and at times persistent uh, rain. You can see from the brightness of the colours, there are some heavy bursts in there. But England and Wales, though, we are looking at a lot of uh, dry weather. Uh, this is how the Soxy Press chart is uh, shaping up today. So we've got a very slight and weak transient ridge down to the south and southeast of us. But it's this area of low pressure out to west of Scotland. It's the driver for weather today, bringing its front in across the Atlantic bring the cloud, wind and rain. So through the course of this afternoon, we're going to find get, uh, rain continue to gather across Scotland and Northern Ireland, driven in by quite a strong wind. That rain will be pushing down into parts of Northern England and Wales, probably South West England too, by the very end of the afternoon. That leaves the Midlands and much of Central, Southern, South East of Britain mostly dry. Perhaps a few showery bursts going through to the Midlands by this evening. Uh, and after a nice sunny morning, it will turn cloudier through the course of this afternoon. But he's saying it's south of the probably hanging on to uh, the sunshine right throughout the day. Temperature this afternoon ranging from uh, well, a very poor and lowly 12 degrees in far north of Scotland to possibly up to 23 or 24 down in the very far southeast of England. So big ranging temperatures uh, between the northwest and the southeast today. Overnight tonight, that uh, system will be pushing across the country. It's going to bring some heavy rain uh, through the UK. So, I say, the rain is in the north and west this evening, but overnight it shifts eastwards and southwards. Uh, so much of England and Wales have a wet spell, especially later on in the night. There'll be some outbreaks of really quite persistent and at times heavy rain. Clearer skies with showers will follow along behind to the north and west. And it remains quite windy up in the northwest of the country as well. It can be quite a warm night, though, despite wind and rain. Temperatures are going to hold up to around, say, 13 and 18 degrees Celsius night. Really very warm and uh, quite humid as well down in the uh, south. Into tomorrow, we've got low pressure dominating weather up to the northwest of uh, the country, but actually it's not going to be too bad in terms of the actual weather. Now, this area of low pressure, I want to draw your attention to just here, coming out of Newfoundland, that is the remains of Hurricane Gert. Hurricane Gert is currently a uh, Category 1 hurricane. It'll be downgrade, I think, tomorrow to a tropical storm just here, but it isn't going to get caught up in the jet stream. It will be heading our way as we go into weekend. But back to Thursday, we probably start off with outbreaks of rain down across the south and southeast first thing in the morning. That will go away very quickly. I mean, it's a day of sunny spells and showers. The showers mostly in the northwest, so west of Scotland, North Ireland, northwest England, having the risk of some showers, possibly North Wales as well. But the bulk of the country actually probably tending to stay mostly dry on Thursday. There should be a fair amount of dry weather with sunny spells going, coming through. It'd be quite warm in the south again with temperatures easily up to around 23, 24, possibly 25 degrees is possible in the far southeast. That's 77 Fahrenheit. We're going to find rain gathering again in the north and west overnight Thursday into Friday. So heavy rain across Northern Ireland will push into Scotland. And that could last much of the day with this area of low pressure very close to Scotland during the course of Friday. So Friday is potentially, I'm afraid, a washout for Scotland with heavy rain on pretty much all day 
uh, really. Turning more showery later on in the west and the southwest of Scotland, but many parts of Scotland are going to have a very wet day. And we're going to have generally more in way showers around on Friday as well. So although the rest of the country might start off fairly dry with some sunny spells, I think showers are likely to break out fairly widely and they'll be driven in by this strong uh, and cool northwesterly wind. So it will be turning cooler on Friday as well. So a bit of a grim old day of it actually uh, on Friday, especially for uh, Scott, where I said there is a potential for a bit of a washout. Temperatures will be lower, so ranging from around, say, uh, 12 degrees in far north Scotland to probably just 21 or 22 at best down in the southeast of England. The weekend isn't going to be too bad to start off with. We've got this little transient ridge building here from high pressure down to the southwest on Saturday. There's the area of low pressure. It's just now in low pressure now. That's in the northern Atlantic. That contains the remains of Hurricane Gert. That will become more significant on Sunday. But for Saturday, a reasonable amount of dry weather. Sunny spells coming through. Few showers scattered about here and there, but they will be light. I don't think they'll amount to too much. There should be plenty of fine weather across the country on Saturday. Temperatures, nothing to get excited about, though. Just 14 to 21 degrees. And then this area of low pressure contains the remains of Hurricane Gert. Heads in across the country on Sunday. So Saturday night is going to turn very wet for Scotland and Northern Ireland again, I'm afraid. Lots of rain coming up to Scotland in the next five days. Sunday starts off really wet through Scotland, Northern Ireland, down into Northern England, probably into parts of Wales as well. Heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain here. Further south, southeast of that, you should imagine it's reasonably dry, but there will be quite a lot of cloud. Now, through the day, we're going to find uh, brighter skies and heavy, blustery showers heading in to Scotland and Northern Ireland. But we'll have a weather front that gets strung out through the central sway. So parts of uh, Northern England, particularly down into Wales, possibly in some parts of the Midlands, will have outbreaks of rain on and off throughout much of the day. But very far south, southeast, so parts of East Anglia, central southern southeast England, you should be drier. There will be a few sunny spells coming through, probably quite a lot of cloud. Because it visits the remains of a hurricane, there's a lot of humid air associated with this. So even with the cloud, temperatures in the cell are still probably going to be up to around 23 or 24 degrees. It will turn cooler and fresher, though, in the north with these strong west uh, westerly winds. And then we move through into Monday, end of five-day forecast period, takes the remains of Hurricane Gert away into the North Sea, clears the eastern parts of Scotland, and then we're left with this cooler northwesterly wind uh, pushing down and bringing showers. So there will probably still be outbreaks of rain left across some eastern and northeastern parts of England on Monday morning. That should go very quickly, and then we'll be looking at a reasonable amount of uh, dry weather as we go through the course of Monday, although showers remain possible in the northwest. And the main thing is going to be this strong and really quite cool uh, northwesterly wind. Temperatures will be lower on Friday. It'll be cooler, fresher on Monday, I should say. It'll be a cooler and fresher feel, although the south could still be up to around 22 or 23 degrees. So, in summary, it's an unsettled period coming up. We're going to have uh, showers or longer spells of rain, and it looks particularly wet at times for Scotland with a real dose of rain on Friday and then again uh, Saturday night and into Sunday morning. Um, but everywhere, I think, we'll get some rain at times in the uh, coming five days for driest weather down in the south. Temperatures are rather up and down through this period. Overall, quite cool, especially in the north, but there will be some warmer and more humid days, particularly, I think, as we bring in the remains of this ex-hurricane uh, later on in the weekend. Right, that's five-day forecast done and dusted. We'll have a look at when it's week 10 days uh, shortly this afternoon here on the homepage. Really, as I say this evening, we're going to extend out to the bank holiday weekend with our, first, with our third update for the late summer bank holiday. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.